Hey there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily or at mhughesart and today's video is going to be about the very exciting step in my journey to becoming a full-time self-employed artist and that is my first big shop opening. We are mainly going to be talking about the enamel pins that I have made for my shop I designed them and got them manufactured by the company GSJJ. I really love how they turned out. They make me so, so happy and I really hope they bring a smile to other people's faces as they do to mine. And I really hope they sell, but even if they don't sell, this was a really great learning experience for me. I'm gonna go over how I designed the pin, how I worked with the manufacturer to get a end result that I liked. And then I'm gonna talk about my store and how I plan on shipping these guys internationally. I was so excited when this arrived in my mailbox because up until this point, I had only seen proofs of the pins, but I had not seen the final product. So I just had to be patient and wait for them to arrive. I also had stickers made by GSJJ, and I will talk more about that later as well. So they each came individually packaged in little bags. This is the free option. You can pay a little bit extra to have them sent in fabric bags or with backing cards. I chose to make my own backing cards, which I will show you in a little bit. These are 1.5 inches shiny copper hard enamel pins. They have two rubber packings, which I was super happy about because it means they will stay very secure. It also means that they won't spin around or turn upside down, which is great because there is text on these pins and, you know, I want people to be able to read them. I actually put my pin on my purse and it just makes me so happy. It makes me want to make art every time I look at it. So I think it looks really cute on my bag. I think it would also look great on the strap of the bag. GSJJ makes enamel pins, patches, stickers, lanyards, keychains, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's really amazing. It's a really great resource for artists to have goods professionally manufactured at factory direct prices. They offer free shipping to the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. So with enamel pins, there are two types, hard enamel and soft enamel. Hard enamel pins are a little bit more expensive because the enamel comes right up to the surface. They're very smooth. Whereas soft enamel pins, the metal is raised and there is a more textured surface. They are a little bit less durable, but they still can have a very cool look for certain designs. Another really cool thing is that there are some pretty funky enamel options, such as glitter, pearlescent, glow in the dark, and even transparent enamel. Everything is very customizable. There's also a bunch of different metal types to choose from and backing types to choose from. I personally really like the rubber backings. So when it came to designing the enamel pin, I was really stuck to be honest. I'm not much of an illustrator, though I do really enjoy illustrating and it's something I'd love to get better at. My art style is more about shapes and less about lines and outlines. The hardest part for me was making something that felt like me, even though there was this sort of outline and colored in style. So my first thought was that I should do something inspired by my dog Luna. She is a dachshund and she's been on my channel quite a few times, so I thought I could do something there. But then I decided that for my first pin, I really wanted to do something art related. You know, maybe I'll do one of those cute dog pins in the future, but a thought came into my mind about my favorite tube of paint. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I love a pale purple color uh, in my paintings. So that is what I went with. And then I thought it could be very cute if there was a plant sprouting out of it. I chose one of my favorites, which is the Palea with its beautiful round leaves. I added some flowers and then a banner that says make art daily. 
because I wanted it to be an inspiration for people when they look at it to, you know, be reminded that maybe they could pull out their sketchbook or work on a painting. So when designing for an enamel pin, you really want to focus on your color palette because the more colors you use, the more the pin will cost. GSJJ offers four colors for free and then each extra color you add adds a little bit to the price. You can also consider choosing Pantone colors, which are basically a standardized set of colors that a lot of designers and manufacturers use, which is probably what I will do in the future, but this was my first pin and I just chose my colors on Procreate and then I sent it off to GSJJ and they choose the closest Pantone color to what you sent them. And I was really pleased with the colors they chose. So here is the finished design I sent them. Within a few days they got back to me with a proof and I'll show you what a proof looks like. It shows you the colors of enamel that they're going to use, the scale, the type of metal, and the type of backing. So the first proof they sent me, the pin was supposed to be only 1 inch and I asked them if we could make it 1.5 inches just so that the writing would be a little more legible. And they said sure, and they sent me another proof with the changed scale. As soon as I saw that one, I said it's perfect, and off to production it went. Okay, so I want to quickly talk about stickers. These are the stickers that I got made with GSJJ, and I am very, very happy with them. This is a digital drawing I did of a borzoi, and they really captured the colors very well. The contrast is great, and all of the details were captured very well. I also really like that they offer this easy peel split back. They are water resistant, which is great, and they just look really, really nice. I'm really pleased with the quality of these. So in comparison, on my shop I have some other sticker designs, and these ones I made myself at home. They are also glossy vinyl stickers, and I am happy with them, they look good. They don't have the nice split back that the GSJJ stickers have. And another thing, I don't have a sticker cutting machine, so I had to cut all of these by hand, including Mr. Running Carrot, who had a lot of intricate details. On my website I will state which ones are handmade and which ones are manufactured professionally. So after weighing all of the pros and cons of getting stickers manufactured versus making them myself, I think in the future I'm ultimately going to go with getting them manufactured. I was really pleased with the quality of the GSJJ stickers, so I will probably be going with them again in the future, especially since I would love to make more enamel pin designs, and if I could get multiple products manufactured from one place, I think that would be fantastic. So obviously getting them manufactured is going to be more expensive than making stickers myself, but for me the time saved is so valuable because cutting them out did take a lot of time and even if I did have a cutting machine it would still take a lot of time to make stickers myself and for me my time is really important and it would be much better for me to be able to spend that time on making art and making videos so that's just my thoughts on stickers so yes you will find all of these in my store mhuseart.com shop if you are interested in any of these really cute stickers so as you can see here, I just designed my backing cards on Procreate. I made them roughly 2 by 3 inches and I printed them on some cardstock. Okay, time for some ASMR order packing. I'm gonna pack a fake order just so I can show you how I'm doing it.
Okay, so that is it for this video. If you are interested in buying a pin or a sticker, you can head over to mhughesart.com shop. And if you're an artist who is thinking of starting their own business and, you know, taking art full time, I think you should go for it. There are plenty of ways to make money as an artist these days and you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, feel free to leave it a like. And if you want to see when I post next, feel free to subscribe. It means a lot. And I will see you all very, very soon with another video. Bye.